So there's nothing complicated here, but it is time consuming. Integration with partial fractions. So if we're trying to integrate a rational function, something like this, we can't integrate it directly. What we need to do is split it into a partial fraction and then integrate each of those fractions. So we're going to have to do that before we even consider the integration step at all. So again, not integrating here. I've just taken this and split it up into a over that and b over that. And then I need to figure out what the a and b values are. I'm not going to explain that. You can watch a previous video to figure out how to do partial fractions, but I'll just speed through it. So there we have it, we've finished this, 3x plus 5 over all of that is equal to 2 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x plus 3. And now that we know that, we can integrate this pretty straightforward. So there's the setup, we're bringing our integral over to here with respect to x. That's going to be equal to the integral of the first function with respect to x plus the integral of the second function with respect to x. Now both of these uh, follow similar patterns. We have 2 ln x minus 1 there plus 1 ln or just ln x plus 3 and of course don't forget your little plus c. Now that is the integral. Uh, I am finished uh, but if I want to neaten it up a little bit and get it into simplest form there are some things I can do. So I can put this 2 up here to the power of 2 that's a log law and then I'm going to have log plus another log, which means that I can multiply those in a single log. So it ends up looking a little more like this. An interesting thing happens when you do that, that x minus 1, we, have, we can stop putting it in absolute values. Because we squared it, it's going to be a positive value. So we don't need to specify that it's an absolute value anymore. Whereas this x plus 3 being multiplied by it, that needs to stay as an absolute value. We didn't change it by squaring it or anything like that. Okay, that's the whole deal. That's integration with partial fractions. You find your partial fraction, then you integrate based upon that. Uh, I'm going to do another one of these. So exactly the same kind of deal here. We're finding the integral of this rational function. Uh, so we're going to have to first split it up into partial fractions. Uh, now, this is a linear one, but this is a quadratic one. So when we split this up into partial fractions, it's going to look like this. All right, so a over that plus bx plus c over that. Now, I'm not going to make you watch my whole uh, partial fraction thing. You can watch another video for that, but I am going to do this super fast, and then we'll do the, the last bit, which is the integration bit. Looks like I got it. That's it. That's the end. Um, we can now say that 4 over x plus 1 x squared plus 1 equals 2 over x plus 1 plus negative 2 x plus 2 over x squared plus 1. That's the partial fractions bit. Now we need to do the integration bit. So I'm just going to rub off all this partial fractions bit. I'm just going to move this up to here. So we've got something like this. We're integrating all of that stuff with respect to x. Now we could integrate that and then integrate that. The problem is that I don't know how to integrate that as a single block. But luckily, I can break it up into negative 2x over that and 2 over that. So we're looking pretty good here. We've got three individual parts that we need to integrate. Now, I'm not in love with this negative 2x here, so I'm just going to move that negative from there and just put it out the front of the integral. That's fine. And now I can integrate each of these in turn. So what do we have? The integral of this is 2 ln absolute value of x plus 1. Now this is f dash of x over f of x, so that's going to give us um, negative ln x squared plus 1. And then finally we have this one here. This is actually an inverse 10. Okay, so that's going to be plus uh, 2 10 to the negative 1 x. And then finally, don't forget your plus c on the end. Now we've already done a lot of work, remember we did the whole partial fraction thing and now we've done this integration thing. That is the integral and you could use it, but we can also sort of simplify this a little bit because we can bring that 2 out to here, so that's going to make it ln x plus 1 squared, uh, but also we've got minus another ln there, 
So we can put that x squared plus 1 on the bottom of that and extend those brackets. Oops. A little more like that, of course. x plus 1 squared divided by that thing that we're subtracting from it. And then this stuff as well. And that is the integral of that. First by passing through some partial fractions, doing the partial fraction stuff, and then finally integrating a little bit like that. That's it, integration with partial fractions.